heart. Will she be the new face of Glam Slam? Just a minute. You have to go to school. Dear baby bird, sparrow. That was beautiful, honey. Juilliard would be crazy not to enroll you. Mom, I can't do it. I'm so stressed out. You can do it. You earned this because you sent them an incredible audition. Okay, that was a recording. And I can't have a music career behind a curtain. Well, we're working on it. I almost got the curtain open. Be the only person in a symphony that's in a box. People are going to say, oh, who's the amazing guitarist in a box? You're not going to be in a box. It's just stage fright. <sighs> yeah, well, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Like my stomach is turning inside out. Your talent is too beautiful not to share. It's a gift trying to erupt out of you. Yeah, well, it won't be the only thing erupting out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to work late tonight. Um, Clay will pick you up or he can take the bus. That's humiliating. I'm a junior. Good thing New York has subways. You won't have to worry about driving or a car. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much when you go to Juilliard. Well, don't worry. At this rate, I won't be going anyway. Thousands of people audition for Juilliard and only a handful get in. Besides, if I don't get this scholarship, I can't go anyway. Just have to join Clay at the community college. Hey, don't knock community college. We'll get it, Cass. Oh, honey, I wish you could play with your heart, not your head. Then it wouldn't matter who's watching. You don't have to be psych ward mom right now. <laughs> I am a nurse, not a therapist. But I will give you a penny for your thoughts. Cassandra, you're spin cycling. I want to be someone else. Why? That breaks my heart. Who would you be? Someone who could play guitar in front of people. Someone who could drive and actually have a license. Well, honey, you can get your license whenever you want, whenever you're ready. And someone who could pay for college and who is popular that everyone likes. Has millions of followers. I want to be Katie Sharp. Wait, what? Mom, she has everything. She's, she's popular, she's beautiful and confident, and her life... Oh, her life is perfect. Isn't she one of the mean girls? Yeah. I want to be her. I don't want to be like her. I hate Katie Sharp. And, uh, we don't hate people. And besides, you don't want to be one of the brat pack. And honey, Katie Sharp doesn't have everything. Mom, she is everything. I bet there are things you have that Katie would want. She just needs to get to know you, that's all. Yeah, like what? Well, you have a beautiful heart. Well, everyone likes her. Did you hear what I just said? You need to love others as you love yourself. Mom, I know. As you love yourself. That's the heart of the matter. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just, everyone always talks about Katie Sharp. Well, maybe you should talk to her instead of about her. today lead with love oh um your shoes untied
Oh, poor girl. She looks like she got her clothes from the dump. She should start a GoFundMe campaign. Oh, I would donate. Actually, it's an idea for a video I want to do. Kids who forget to look in the mirror before they leave the house. <laughs> that's, that's good. I know. Oh, Olivia looks so ditzy in that cheer uniform. <laughs> I know. Hi, loves. Hi. Why? Did you guys see my blog on this new jewelry line I discovered? No, I must have missed that one. I'm sorry. I forgot my lab binder. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Literally nobody reads her blog. <laughs> yeah, she just really wants to be like you. So. Yeah, well, I hope that jacket's not real leather. Hey, babe. Hi, Hayden. So I was thinking maybe you could make a video about me being your boyfriend. You know, like working out, throwing the ball around. That sounds riveting. I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, cool, cool. Is he still trying to be in one of your videos? Like, what a clout chaser. I date him because he's hot, not to get him followers. <laughs> uh, hi, Katie. Hey, I just wanted to wish you luck on your glam slam job because that's so cool and like you might already have a career or something and it's... <laughs> These are designer shoes. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Here, let me help you clean them. Just... Uh, don't touch me. Sorry, I, I was just trying to... Um... <clears throat> Here, you can wear my shoes. I mean, I know we're the same size shoe because I watched one of your favorite shoe videos and um, it's really cool. Stalker. I wouldn't be caught dead in your shoes. Looks like someone forgot to look in the mirror before they left the house. We don't want to see your face the rest of the day. Or your ugly shoes. some alternate universe where we're friends with Katie Sharp. We're just trying to be nice. Okay, kids. Last time we talked about sapritose and how they help the process of decomposition. Now, decomposition is an important part of the life cycle. The change that one living organism has on another creates room for new life. As you see here, I have beakers of milk, and they all have different dates, and they're in various stages of decomposition. <laughs> Yes, very unpleasant. So, can anyone tell me, why does milk spoil? Katie Sharp? Because you don't have it in a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about being nice to her? Love your neighbor. She lives on the other side of town. She's not your neighbor. It's not. Cassandra Evans. Uh, the, the sapotrophs in the milk are bacteria. They're eating the milk. It's their waste that makes milk smell bad. That is correct. Good job, Cassandra. Kids, if you're going to be distracted in my class, you better at least have the right answer when I call on you. Has guitar practice. No, it's all remind me. The audition's coming up soon, so I'm like really freaked out. Want me to come over tonight and be your audience? <laughs> Maybe I should apologize to Katie again. What? what? Do not talk to Katie Sharp. She's coming or the Brat Pack. The last thing you need right now is to draw more attention to yourself. <laughs> No way. No way. <laughs> 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 Hold on, no, no, it's not cool. <laughs> 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 Bro, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I can't even handle it. I hate her so much. I despise them all, Cassandra. She's not gonna get away with this. No, we shouldn't hate people. I said despise. 
Here, I scavenged these from the lost and found. I'm going to the principal right now. No, no, please. It'll only make it worse. It's over. I don't want to talk about it. High school kids are so mean. I can't believe they did that to you. Wait, how do you know what happened? I watched it. What? I no. I thought you knew. She didn't. What'd you do about it? Nothing. You gotta stand up for yourself, Cassandra. How would you know? You practically ran the school. You were popular. You were never a nerd. Cassandra? You're not a nerd. Stand up for yourself. Well, I thought I was supposed to lead with love. Leading with love doesn't mean you don't have boundaries. Love tells the truth. It's not okay what they did to you. Well, I don't know how to do that. Someone got milk on their shoes. <sighs> Dear God, please show Katie Sharp what it's like to walk a day in my shoes. Walk a day in my shoes. Walk a day in my shoes.
Your kale smoothie's done. Um, I have to go. Excuse me. You are not leaving this house without your hair and makeup done. It's unacceptable. Hey, sweetie. Somebody missed our five o'clock run this morning. You feeling all right? Yeah, that's it. I'm just, oh, I'm feeling very strange. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the doctor's. <laughs> Keys on the shelf. I'm sorry, didn't I just tell her she's not leaving the house like that? Well, why don't you stop her? Don't kill me for driving your car. Gave it to me. What is going on? Why am I you? You have my face. No, don't touch me. This is impossible. I think I did this. What are you babbling about? Sandra, what's going That's on? That's my mom. We need to get out of here. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Sorry. Okay. How do I get my body back? I, I don't know. Why are you asking me? Don't bite my fingernails. You're gonna ruin my manicure. Okay, this has to be some kind of hallucination or something. A dream? That's it. I need to wake up. Okay, okay. Wake up, Katie! Wake up, wake up! Okay, wake up, stop! Wake up, wake up. Wait, stop! Okay. You're gonna leave a mark on my face. Besides, what if I'm dreaming? I'm dreaming. Hey! What? Wait, stop! Okay, okay, wait, wait, stop! I think I might know what's going on. Last night, when I got home, I was really upset because of what you guys did to me. Okay, get on with it. I prayed to God to show you what it's like to be me. Actually, the exact words were, please show Katie Sharp what it's like to walk in my shoes. You're kidding. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that is impossible. I don't even believe in God. I mean, just because you don't believe doesn't make him not real. Actually, that's exactly what that means. Uh, well, then how do you explain this? Yeah, we, we really need to go to the emergency room. Oh, no, I can't miss school. I have perfect attendance. You're me now, dummy. Well, what would we tell the doctors? I don't know. Maybe they've heard of something like this. People could switch bodies. Don't you think we would have heard of something like that? Stop! Before? Sorry. What I mean is, you know, no one's ever switched bodies in history. We would have seen it on the news. No one will believe us. Worse, they will believe us. Why would that be worse? Well, if people could switch bodies, I mean, they would want to do experiments on us, you know, put us in a lab. Oh, they would put us in a peewee dish? It's a petri dish. They'd probably want to cut open our brains and look inside. I am way too beautiful to be cut up into pieces. Exactly. We can't tell anyone. Because then what are we supposed to do? Go to school? Pretend to be each other. I can't pretend to be you. Well, I don't think we really have a choice. <sighs> Just until we figure out what's going on. Give me my phone. Okay, and I cannot show up in school in my pajamas. Okay. Okay, let's go.
doing? Um, I I'm just getting my things. Uh, why is your stuff in someone else's locker? Yeah, whose locker is this? Is this Cassandra Evans' locker? Stop. Cassandra Evans is digging through your locker. Look. Oh, I get it. Sabotage. We'll take good care of her. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Lorena, I'm having a horrible day. Yesterday you thought you could talk to us, and now you're in Katie's locker? I can't with you. Listen to me. <laughs> Excuse me? You listen to me. <clears throat> uh, Abby! Hey, wait, where are you going? Look, yesterday is over. Whatever happened between you and Cassandra is between you two. Leave me out of it. You just abandoned me like that? You're supposed to be my best friend. What's up, babe? Oh, hello. <laughs> beautiful, what's wrong? You think I'm beautiful? Katie, you're the most beautiful girl in my universe. Um, I have to go. What? See you at lunch then? What did you take out of this locker? Put it back. Uh huh. What are you doing? Meet me at our lockers after school. What? You must think I'm an idiot. No, I need to talk to you. It's really important. You don't understand. You still smell like sour milk. Now get out of here before I call the principal. I don't know what you think you're doing, but if I ever catch you doing something like this again, you'll regret it for the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. Cassandra? Katie? Could you please return to your assigned seats? I can't believe she didn't learn from yesterday. What should we do to her today? My milk samples have gone missing, so we're going to skip to the next chapter. Can anybody tell me what mimicry is and the four types of resemblances? Miss Sharp. Miss Sharp, could you please answer the question? Oh, me? If you have time and you're busy scheduled to join us. Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, mimicry is the similarity from one creature to another creature or object. That similarity gives an advantage to the creature in some way. Uh, the four types of resemblances are appearance, behavior, sound, and scent. That's right. Miss Williams, uh, can one creature like turn into another creature? Like, can I can I go like wake up one day and be a cat or something? <laughs> You all laugh, but that is completely possible. It is? Well, yes, of course. Take a butterfly. It spends the first half of its life as a completely different creature before it cocoons and morphs into a butterfly. If you didn't know that that was the same creature, you would never think that that was possible. Um, could, could you put somebody's thoughts into someone else's body? That's not possible. Not yet, anyway, although I have heard of these experiments that are happening where they're putting a computer chip into the brain to do just that. But we're many years and tests away from that being possible. Lots of lab work to be done first. Okay, let's turn to page 68. What are you guys doing? Oh, sorry, are we too close? Oh, Save the seat for you, babe. Oh, you know I love when you play hard to get. Hey, did you get my text about putting up
You can't just sit with me. Hi, Abby. Looks like there's a glitch in the system. Sabotage time? Hey, what if we just all try and be friends? That is not going to happen. Don't worry, we would never be friends with you guys. You're like, not cool, kind of losers. No, we aren't. Yes, you are. Who are we talking about? I'm serious. Um, maybe we should just, you know, try to be nice to each other. Katie, aren't you a vegetarian? Do not eat that. You're the vegetarian, not me. You, me, outside, now. Yeah, don't mess with us. One second. Okay, if you're going to be me, you need to do a better job at it. I don't eat greasy pizza, and I don't want to be friends with you, and what's your face? Stop making me look bad. I'm sorry. Stop saying sorry. Katie Sharp does not apologize. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying sorry. Okay, you need you need to wear my clothes. You need to start acting like me. You need to look good. Okay, I, I understand. But you have to be nice to my friends. You don't have friends. Well, you have to be nice to my friend. Fine. If you can keep it together and not destroy my reputation, I'll try to be nice to your friend. Abby. Whatever. No, her name is Abby. Okay, if we want to pull this off, then you have to get it too, just like me. Fine. I'll be nice to Abby. But don't mess it up with my boyfriend. And also, don't touch him. Hey, wait up. You didn't take any of my books home. They're heavy. Well, how are you going to do homework? Wait, how are we supposed to deal with homework? No one told me to do any homework. No one gave you any homework? I always have homework. Cassandra has homework. I don't. You'll ruin my GPA. Then I'll give you the assignments. Well, I already have homework, as you. Then copy mine from yours. This is your fault anyway. So you do believe me? Okay, let's get this straight. I don't believe in God, but I do believe this is your fault because you said so. So fix it. You can't drive as me. I don't have a license. Oh, well, I do. N no, you don't. I really don't want you to go to jail as me. But this is ridiculous. Why don't you have a driver's license? I have social anxiety. Um, I, I lose my nerve and I get really panicked. It's the worst if I have to perform in front of Whatever. people. Whatever, I don't care about your personal problems. If a cop pulls you over, you're gonna get me in a lot of trouble. Okay, fine, then how do we get home? Wait, your parents are gonna see some random girl digging through your room. I don't wanna get arrested for that either. Well, how are we gonna get into our own rooms then? I guess we just have to sneak in. Wait, what happens when our parents go to tell us goodnight? Your parents say goodnight to you? Like, in your room? My mom does. Hey, sis. Ready to go? He's talking to you. Your brother is Clay Evans? Yeah, Cassandra Evans. Clay Evans. <laughs> oh, wow. I would have never guessed that. He's, like, so cool. Okay, don't forget you are me. You know... Maybe I'll be okay going back to your house after all. That's my brother. And you have a boyfriend. Hey, wait, I'm, I'm coming with you guys. I'm sorry, Katie. You're not welcome after what you did to my sister. Why are you talking to Katie Sharp now? You know who I, you know who Katie Sharp is? Wow, I forgot how famous I am. She is. No, she's infamous. Yeah, she's awesome. Infamous is an awesome Cassandra. Famous is being well known, but 
Infamous is being well known for bad reasons. Katie Sharp is infamous. Did she apologize? For what? Yesterday. <sighs> What's with you? Well, she spilled... I mean, there was coffee spilled on someone's shoes. Uh, that was an accident. Okay, enough about Cassandra. Let's talk about Clay. You're like a legend at that school. Huh? You were captain of the soccer team, highest goal count to date. Everyone still talks about you. Even Katie Sharp. Listen, high school doesn't really matter after high school, you know? Look, you really do need to stand up for yourself against her. Today, Cassandra Evans totally stood up to Katie Sharp. In high school, is everything. See you later, sis. Wait, you're leaving? I've got to get to class. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I just saw the video Katie Sharp put up. Uh, are you okay? What should I do? Should I call school, call her parents? Sorry. Isn't that Katie Sharp? Sort of. Do you want to let her in? <gasps> we are pretty upset with you. I was about to call your parents. I'll go to my room. No. Cassandra, we need to deal with this. Now is the perfect opportunity for Katie to apologize and for you two to work this out. Oh, I completely agree. It was very big of Katie to come here. I agree. She is the best. Katie, you are my daughter's idol. Mom! I mean, this is Evans. And um, it would mean a lot to Cassandra if you would apologize. It really would. Cassandra, you're not helping. Katie? Sorry. Oh. Thank you, Katie. Oh, I wasn't saying sorry for that. This isn't right. It's supposed to be the other way around. I hardly think that my little accident requires an apology after what you did. Sorry, I didn't know that this would happen. Okay, is it settled? Be kind to each other. If you learn this now, it will save you so much grief in the future. Okay, it's time for us to go to my your house, Katie. Cassandra, you need to do homework and get some guitar practice in. Can I stay for dinner? Can I sleep over? Uh, sorry, not tonight, Katie. Um, I think we need some family time. I guess I'm stuck here. Um, I forgot my address. Press the home button in the GPS. Right. I'll go get dinner ready. Mrs. Evans, can I get a hug? I need you to bring some clothes for school tomorrow. Bring some outfits. Katie, your kale salad's in the fridge. Boy, this family eats a lot of kale. Hey, your latest video, outperforming everything. <laughs> you watch that? What? No, no, but the analytics are amazing. I tell you what, girl, you keep this up and you are a shoe-in for the Glam Slam job. A shoe-in. <laughs> what video do you have planned for tonight? I'm not Katie Sharp. 
Yeah, lame. I mean, you're going to really confuse your audience, baby. All your followers, I'm not Katie Sharp. Seriously? No. Look, this is really hard to explain, but I, I don't want to be that kind of Katie Sharp. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go again. You don't want to... <coughs> you don't want to be that kind of Katie Sharp. Yeah, you listen to me, young lady. Katie Sharp is working. Katie Sharp has a video due on that screen tonight. I don't have anything planned. What? Um, this is your job, honey. I don't want to be that mean Katie Sharp. <sighs> Answer your phone, okay? Katie Sharp is a very successful brand. <laughs> yes, it is. And your father and I gave up our jobs to manage your career. Hello. I know that it can feel sometimes you're putting on a show, honey, but that's just our business. <laughs> People love Katie Sharp. Yes, and this was settled last summer. It's a career decision and it's working. So, honey, don't get caught up in your feelings. It's just business. <laughs> exactly. So I tell you what you do, all right? You get yourself through the Glam Slam interview and get the job by being Katie Sharp, okay? You do your videos, including the one you have due tonight. Tonight. Listen to your mother. Listen to your father. Settled? Good. Sandra Evans is a wonderful, smart, amazing girl. And you should all be kind to her. Oh, I'm Katie Sharp, and I approve this message. I'm Katie Sharp. <laughs> I'm Katie Sharp. <laughs> Did you bring the stuff? Yes, of course. It's right here. so pretty. What are you wearing? We talked about this. Come on, you have to do a better job at being me. I thought this looks good. I use those clothes to sleep in. Oh, forget it. We'll talk about it later tonight. I said no ponytails. And you have destroyed my manicure. And what were you thinking? Changing my social password? Yes. I did. I, I deleted your mean video and I don't want you to be able to re-upload it. I know. And you posted a video. You can't be making these sort of decisions without me. Why well, Katie Sharp would never make a post like that. Well, she does now. This is not a game. This is my business you're messing with. Tell me the password. No. Excuse me? Why are you wearing those ridiculous shoes? What? I, Katie wore these shoes last week. Well, do you see her wearing them now? No. That's because they're last week. Girls, that's enough. Let's leave her alone. You were serious in your video? You want us to be nice to her? Absolutely. 
Fine. Hi, Cassandra. Your hair is so pretty. Ooh, and soft. Mm -hmm. I'd like your uh, vest if we're going on a safari or something. You guys, I'm serious. Let's be nice. See you later, Cassandra. You're welcome for that, by the way. Maybe you can even have lunch with us. We're allowed to wear sweatpants now? It's a social experiment. Did you hear about Jake's party? I know, I can't believe I get to go to a party with you girls. <laughs> We're taking the Porsche, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, you cannot drive my car to that... happening. Oh you told me to act like Katie Sharp. Yeah, well, maybe you're too good at it. Okay, Katie, you don't like being treated like that? No, no one treats me like that. Doesn't feel good, does it? Whatever, Cassandra. Listen, I've been thinking about how we can switch back. What were you doing that night before bed? Like the night this all happened? I told you, I prayed. That's the last thing you did before falling asleep? Oh, it's the last thing I remember doing. I was praying and the next thing I knew I woke up in your bed. I was reading this magazine but then things get all fuzzy. Tonight, pray before going to bed, and I'll read the magazine. I better wake up in my bed. Me and my body, and you and yours. What happens if we don't? We better get some outfits together so we don't look stupid as me. Don't put my hair in ponytails. It damages it. I'll show you how to do it nicely. You're really good at this. Well, that's how I became a social star. I thought you got famous for making fun of people. Well, I started with makeup tutorials, and I got really good at it, and people started paying attention to me. And then one day I made a post about a girl's bad fashion choice, and it got tons of views, like, more than ever. But, um, whatever, the point is, is I started with makeup tutorials. Okay, I need to make a new video post, and you're gonna do some VO for me. What's VO? Voiceover. Okay, what's the plan? Don't worry, I'll talk you through it. I already got the video cut, I just need you to intro it. Just say what I tell you to say. Okay. First, you need to log me in. When I hit record, just say, teens who left the house and forgot to look in the mirror. You should black out their faces. What? No way, that's part of my video style. You can still get your point across even if you hide who they are. <sighs> hey, it'll work, thank you. Okay, now I have a favor to ask you. Tonight is youth group at my house and I really wanna go. Can I go with you? What's youth group? I think it's gonna be a way for us to get switched back. How? Well, a group of us meet up and pray. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I'll go. If you give me my password back. Deal. I'll give it to you after.
What are you doing at Cassandra Evans' house? How did you guys know I was here? Don't you live here? Yeah, we tracked you on the social map. Are you guys having a party without us? Uh, Katie, this is one of your best posts yet. I love that you blacked the faces out, because one of them was me. Sorry, I'm late. Class went over and my professor just lectures on and on. Uh, I don't think we've officially met. Right, um, I, I'm Katie Sharp. Uh, your sister has told me so much about you. I, I feel like I've known you forever. Right. Well, uh, you can take a seat. Now I see why we're here. This party has a snack. <laughs> Please grab a paddle. I'm going to read a list of statements. After each one, answer using your paddle. Here we go. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. Everyone can do what they want. I'm your neighbor. What does this have to do with God? Yeah, what kind of party is this? Well, Cassandra, you are my neighbor. Not just because we grew up down the hall from each other, but because we're people. We're called to love our neighbor with all our passion, muscle, and intelligence as herself. I think my neighbors steal my newspaper. I think they drive a white Lexus with tan leather interior. Yeah, I've seen them. Yes. I mean, they're rich. Why don't they just buy the newspaper? My neighbors have a Mercedes 250 SL. It's sick. Oh, I think their names are the Dearbins. <laughs> How do you know Katie's neighbors? I, I think you might be missing the point of who your neighbor is. The Bible tells the story of a man who was attacked by robbers. They left him for dead. After a little bit, three guys walked by. And the first one was a priest. He didn't stop to help. He was afraid the man might be contagious. The priest didn't want to get contaminated, so he left him. The second man was a foreigner. He didn't want to get involved, so he crossed the road and kept going. The final man stopped and helped him. He not only got him to safety, but he paid all his medical bills and expenses. This story teaches us that all people are our neighbors. Even people that shop out of dumpsters? <laughs> <laughs> you can't shop out of a dumpster. It's free. Okay, it's about breaking down barriers. The first two travelers didn't stop because the man who was hurt was different from them. The third man stopped, regardless of their differences, and he saved the man's life. Take a minute and answer these questions. How will you love yourself and others this week? It was great to have Katie here tonight. She may be a pretty girl, but... Her insides are ugly. You think my Katie's insides are ugly? Where your treasure is, your heart will be also. <laughs> that seems judgmental. Anytime people are mean, it's usually because they're insecure. I'm not. I mean, she isn't insecure. And how would you know what Katie treasures? What she did to you alone speaks volumes. I can only imagine what she's done to other kids. You probably don't remember, but when we were younger, any time we would leave the house, even if it was to just go play in the backyard, Dad would always say, lead with love. It's one of the only things I remember. Why don't I remember that? You were just so little when he died. <gasps> Family hug time! <laughs> Okay. Hey. Oh, you don't have to stop. That's beautiful. No, I, um... I can't play in front of people. Why? I have social anxiety. Yeah, you told me. But why? Um, last year I was playing in a solo competition and this one judge just ripped me to shreds in front of everyone. Oh, you got trolled. 
Yeah, that happens a lot to me online. You just gotta ignore it. Get your confidence back. You're talented, girl. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Yeah, well, I'm also really insecure. Funny. That's what Clay said about me. What? Yeah. You? <laughs> no, no way. I mean, you can do anything. You're... You're gutsy. Yeah, well, maybe I'm a little too gutsy sometimes. All right, I did my good deed for the day. Password. Please don't be mean as me. You're late. Get up on this thing. Uh... Seriously? Let's go. Let's go. Let's push, push, push. <laughs> By the way, I got a call from Glam Slam this morning. The audition is going to be live. Okay. And that means that the audience is going to pick the winner. Okay. Are you even listening to me? Okay. <laughs> what is the matter with you, girl? It's like you're not even yourself lately. Are you turning your video late? You're usually right on it, right on it. Come on, girl. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. That's because you've been missing your workouts. I think you might have a heart attack, too. You might want to slow down. I'm not gonna have a heart attack. I don't have time to have a heart attack. By the way, they moved the photo shoot till tomorrow. Photo shoot? For what? You don't remember. I didn't forget. Refresh my memory, please. Never mind. Just make sure you're ready to leave this house by 6 a.m. in the morning. 6 a.m.? Tomorrow's Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday, so work harder. Come on, girl, you got it. Race me to the wall. I don't want to go to the wall. What are you doing? They have people that do that for you at the shoot. Oh, thank goodness. I can't do this. Oh, honey, it's just like the shoot you did for the social. Do you remember how fun that was? I'm Katie Sharp. Yes, you are. I'm gutsy. Oh, let's do it. Look at the fans waiting for you. <laughs> Are all those people here for me? Well, yeah, you're Katie Sharp. By the way, that milk video was brilliant. You liked that video? Glam Slam loves 5.4 million views. Uh, that many people saw the video? Keep up the great work and you'll fit right in here. By the way, I'm Skylar Stone, editor-in-chief of Glam Slam. Oh, hi. Um, what is this photo shoot for? We're shooting all of the influencers. This competition is great for Glam Slam and our online presence. And, and I'm a shoo-in? Me? Well, yeah, you're a huge star. I don't know what to do. Um, yes, you do, honey. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know why Katie's acting like this. I mean, not every shoot can be private. Well, this is really stressing me out. <laughs> we'll step out of it. Katie, meet Christiana. Christiana is one of the most talented photographers in Europe. We flew her in just for today's photo shoot. Any shop, the reputation precedes you. Hello.
brillante, ¿cómo se dice? Fantastic. Capturing a school persona. Now, wind. Um, honey, <laughs> remember you have to face towards the wind. It blows your hair. There you go. Wind off. Okay, I'm just gonna go fix her hair for a second. Um, I don't know what's going on, but you are definitely not yourself. <clears throat> um, I think this might be a very good time to take that mother-daughter shot that we talked about. <laughs> this is just about Katie. All right, well, whatever. Okay, go ahead, girl. Maybe stand straight up, honey. Sorry. I mean, thank you. Well, you're welcome. You're learning from the best. Still sleeping? Are you ready to practice? Where am I? I can't believe how fast it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, we don't want to lose all day. Lose the whole day to what? To practice your guitar? Uh, uh, Mrs. Mom? Are you feeling all right? It's just I can't play the guitar. Uh, no, but I, I really can't play. Okay. You want to tell me the truth now? What? You can stop pretending. You know? How? You haven't been yourself lately. A mother can tell. All right, well, what do we do? How do we fix it? Cancel the audition. You aren't enjoying yourself. Music is about joy, pleasure, passion, not about stress, fear, and anxiety. No, you shouldn't cancel the audition. That's a really bad idea. You used to play all the time for fun. You loved it, but ever since the incident last year, it isn't fun for you anymore. And it's okay not to put yourself under all this pressure. You, you would do that? Of course. Do you still want this? Well, no one really ever asks me what I want. What do you want? Let's go have some fun today. Brillante. I'll get it. Brillante. Finale, como se dice. Done. Great. Uh, I can explain that. Um, there's this girl, she's really obsessed with me, so I saved um, my name as her contact. <laughs> it's just like... It's brillante. It's perfect. Really? Mm -hmm. It's metaphysical. So. Well, this is perfect timing because we have a meet and greet at the mall. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Who are you calling? You have been on the phone all day. Let's just have some mother-daughter time. I I don't skate. Since when? Since always. Since the last time we were here, you mean? Size six? What? Size six, right? Why? I I can't wear these. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> They've been on other people's feet. You have socks on. Oh, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, honey, I love that you painted your nails. 
Well, that will help you not to bite them. Yeah, that's not a problem now. So, who is so important that you're calling all day? Just a friend. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. <gasps> I mean, no. Uh, it's complicated. Well, um, I would love to meet Mr. Complicated sometime. So, did our little talk with Katie Sharp help? Are you two getting along better? Yeah, you can kind of say that. You know, it is so true what I said the other day about learning this stuff now. You're going to say it's just high school and it doesn't matter in the real world. And blah, blah, blah. No, not at all. Cassandra, when I was in high school, I was part of the cool crowd. And we were so mean to this one girl, Emily Ross. She had greasy hair and acne, a poor thing. And we teased her mercilessly. I still think about it. Could you ever just apologize to her? You know, find her on the social, make things right? Well, after we graduated, I wrote her a letter, but never heard back. That's a good idea. The social is a great way to reach out to her again. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you know what? I uh, I want to get a driver's license. Really? That's great. <laughs> and contact lenses. Wow, look at you changing everything up. <laughs> yep, just want to do something nice for Cassandra. <laughs> well, Sarah would like to skate. Water reflects the face. Wait, wait, wait. So much light hear reflects this. the heart. He is love. Therefore, I should be loving. If you think about it, Jesus came to earth to walk a day in our shoes. Okay. Hey, Jake. I can't wait for tonight. Hi. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. Have you seen your social numbers? You're viral. Really? <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, why haven't you answered my calls all weekend? Things just got real. Your mom is going to cancel your Juilliard audition. Um, she's busy at the moment. Uh, shh, come here. <sighs> Did you just hear what I said about the Juilliard audition? Your dream, flushed down the toilet, gone. What are you doing talking like that in front of people? Hello, I'm trying to help you. Your mom is going to cancel your audition. Why would she do that? Because I can't play and she thinks I'm you. I know I said I don't believe, but if this is a God thing, you better start praying. I like being you. You don't miss your mom and Clay? Don't you realize what you have? You know what? I think I'm better at being Katie Sharp than you are. became the new and improved Katie. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so when can we get a video of you guys? I mean, I really want to get my phone on. Um, who invited her? She's got a little nerve showing up. Maybe we can find some spoiled milk somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's so last week. What, weren't we supposed to be nice to her, Katie, right? Because you're friends with her now. You guys are my friends now.
I'll wait for you here. So you're gonna vote for Katie on Glam Slam? I heard it's now a live interview. I can't wait to watch. Where's Katie? Over there. Hey! Why didn't you tell me about the Glam Slam live video vote? What the heck? It didn't matter anyway. You aren't anything I didn't make you. You are nothing. I made you. It's my face. It's my life. You stole it from me. You can't have it back. It's mine now. We are leaving. I'm not going anywhere with you. Seriously, we are leaving. Stay away from me. Or I will cut off your precious hair. He wouldn't dare. Try me. I'm not scared of you anymore. Fine. You touch one hair on my head and I will tattoo you loser across your forehead. Right here in big block letters. What? Go for it. It's your forehead now. Hey, stop this. Don't touch me! What are they talking about? <laughs> this is dope. It's exactly what I need. Cassandra, stop. Look around. Everyone is filming us. Let them. I don't care. Well, I do. We're humiliating ourselves. You've already humiliated me, Katie. A hundred times. And if it wasn't me, it was someone else. Everyone in this room has been hurt because of you. You don't want to be videoed? When did they ever have a choice? You just did whatever you wanted. And now that you don't have control, you don't like it. Well, we don't care that you're humiliated. It's your turn now. You need to calm down. And we need to leave. I'm not scared of you anymore, Katie Sharp. You and these stupid girls who follow you around like ducklings. You and your little ducks. Yeah, like your loser friend, Abby, who always wants to sit with us at lunch. The only reason that you're even allowed to be around us is because of Katie. You shouldn't even be here. I was talking about you. Don't touch my friend! We're leaving. Wait, play! I'm Cassandra! No, you're not. You're Katie Sharp. Dude, I just got a hundred new followers from this. Me too. Oh, it's still growing. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be Katie Sharp anymore. Good. It's a whole different thing when you actually see yourself. You are a kind person. You lead with love. Whatever you were doing in there is not the Cassandra I know. I was just trying to fix it. Can you start it, please? Oh, boy. Well, well, well. Glenn Slam called, and guess what? They canceled your interview. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't really care, sweetheart, what she has to say for herself. And I don't know why you would either. You know what, honey? I agree. Do you not care about your father and I? Do you have any idea 
how bad this video makes us look. I mean, you've ruined our reputation. How are we supposed to repair your brand? Hmm? Your brand that your mother and I worked so hard to develop in the first place. Not even glam, what is it? It's glam slam. Not even glam, glam slam approves of assault. Ken, there has to be a way for us to fix this. We've wanted this since you were a little girl. Oh, long before that. I can't lose this now. I mean, we can't lose this now. Right. We're taking away your car. Nah, no, that's, that'd be very bad. Bad for her image. What you going to do, ride know. share? I know, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay. We're not going to take away your car. No. I don't care. Take away my car. I don't care about Glam Slam. Have either of you thought to ask what I do care about? Because all you care about is your own agenda. You are perfect for this job. Absolutely perfect for this job, Katie Marie Sharp. You're right. I am. Because Glam Slam is for mean people who do mean things. Say be there. Through rain and fire when lies beyond repair. Fall on me. Cassandra Evans. We are all Cassandra Evans. We have all hurt or been hurt by someone. Now, I'm sorry to everyone that I've hurt. I'm sorry I started a fight tonight. You know, it's really easy to judge someone. But before we idolize or bully them, we should take a minute to imagine what it's like to walk in their shoes. Instead of talking about each other, we should talk to each other. That's how we should live. I'm Cassandra M. I'm Katie Sharp, and I approve this message. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how mean I've been to you. And then I went and did the exact same thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop saying sorry. <sighs> so, what do we do now? I have a plan. 
We really need your help. Hypothetically speaking, if two people could switch bodies, how could they switch back? I prayed for Katie to know what it was like to walk in my shoes. And it worked. I walked in her boots for an entire week. All I wanted was for Katie to know what it was like to be me, which was really selfish, actually. Honestly, I've always wanted to know what it was like to be you. Listen, guys, I still don't follow this identity crisis you're having. Just love one another. Oh, um, we gotta go. Hi. So what do we do? I think all we can do is make things right for each other, starting with getting your Glam Slam interview back. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. We have five days. Five days. Five days to learn the guitar. Is that even possible? <laughs> Seems like anything's possible <laughs> lately. <laughs> so what about the video? What are you gonna make? I don't know, I need to think about it. But your last video was on the right track. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Next on the agenda, apologies. And one breakup. I agree. I think he's only with you to gain followers. Yeah. Did, did you want me to do that now? No, I got it. Hey, Hayden. What do you want, Cassandra? I hope you got the followers you needed from that video post. Mm. And I hope you got the fame you were looking for, too. Because unfortunately, you'll go down in history as Katie Sharp's ex-boyfriend. Wait, what? I'm breaking up with you. Poor Katie. You look kind of middle school. Yeah, well, I kind of act like a middle schooler, so I thought it was appropriate. Bye. I'm so sorry I pushed you at the party. Hubby? Sandra, it's just that you really taken this wanting to be popular thing way too far. I've gotten carried away in the past. But that is the past. You've changed. I am really sorry. I mean, I've just been hanging out with Katie Sharp all the time. You ditched me. I did cling spoiled milk off of you. Actually, I've been a good influence on her. Come sit with us. You'll see. You know, Katie has really changed. And she could use a friend like you. So sorry, Abby. All right, you're up. Wish me luck. No, I'm wishing you a lot of luck. <laughs> Don't even think about sitting with us. We don't care that you're famous and everything. We don't want anything to do with you anymore. We all make mistakes, even me. Well, it looks like you found your new crowd, and it's where you belong, with the rejects. Have you ever taken a second to get to know those kids over there? You can call us whatever you want. We don't care, but we're not rejects or losers. We're friends. And I would never let anyone push them around. Like you pushed us at the party? 
You know, I'm sorry. That's why I came over here to apologize. I made a mistake. I really mean that. You are more than welcome to sit with us anytime. Who knows, you might even make an unexpected friend. Tough crowd. Yeah, just give them time. All tappets die hard. I would know. I made them. made them mad. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what did Katie say when you talked to her about the Glam Slam thing? Uh, she didn't really want to talk about it. I think we need to find out. Okay. Dad time. Katie! Sweetheart! What did you decide to do about the Glam Slam thing? We're patiently waiting, honey. Mm -hmm. You guys are constantly spin cycling. <laughs> <laughs> no, spin class is on Saturday. <laughs> Today we're doing the Tracy Anderson method. No, no, I mean, spin cycling in your heads. I mean, thinking about the same thing over and over and obsessing over it. Maybe that's because it's so important. Huh? To who? Well, to us. <laughs> I mean, all of us, the whole, the whole family. Look, I, I know that you guys are really health conscious and, you know, worrying about what you eat and working out, which is great for your health, but... Also, have you ever just taken a minute to think with your heart and lead with your heart? Oh, honey, I mean, that's good in theory, but I'll be honest with you. You have become everything I have wanted to be. Please do not blow this opportunity because it doesn't happen every day. I know that you guys don't watch my videos, but the last one I posted was really good. You might want to watch it. I think you'd be really proud. That looks pretty fun. <laughs> it is. Come and join us, honey. Tracy Anderson made this routine up for you. Tracy Anderson is Katie Sharp's personal trainer. Seriously? You're going to keep up this whole third person thing? <laughs> Weird. Weird. <laughs> Bad habit. Okay, let's do this. I think we should have her come to a private with us. I don't know if I could handle that. Well, we got to burn off that kale. I hope Glam Slam likes this. I don't care. It's what I want to post. cancel my Juilliard audition. Uh, okay. I've been working on my song. I wrote it for you. For me? Really? That touches me right here. <laughs> okay, but you won't be able to put the judges behind a curtain. I know, but I want you to hear it. No peeking. Okay, honey. <laughs> Dear baby bird, dear sparrow, you look a lot like me when I lost my wings. Dear baby bird, don't be discouraged, maybe freedom doesn't come touching the sky. You wrote 
about that for me? Really beautiful. By the way, um, I found Emily Ross. And? We are now friends on the social. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it Mr. Complicated? Oh, it's complicated. Hello. May I please speak to Katie Sharp? This is Katie. Oh. Hello, Katie. I didn't recognize your voice. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm getting over a uh, cold. Well, I hope you feel better. This is Skylar Stone from Glam Slam. I convinced my board to let you back in the running. Thank you so much. I'm really happy that you liked my new video. Well, we're happy you apologized. It's great for PR. But look, we want the Katie Sharp who brings in 5.4 million views. Don't let me down, Katie. Feel better. Is it not complicated anymore? No. It's more complicated. Tell me over dinner. I'll make your favorite. I miss you, Mom. Your eyeliner today, Abby. Thanks. Your eyebrows look good. <laughs> Thanks. I'm learning. <clears throat> um, oh, we really liked the video you posted. It was really good. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, you guys can sit with us. <sighs> I did not get any sleep last night, and I know I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, tell me about it. I was up all night practicing the guitar. I'm so nervous to be live in front of all those people. Oh, yeah, Katie, your Glen Slam interview. Yeah, the big day for me. <laughs> right, um, because I have my Juilliard audition, too. Oh, so. good luck. Thanks. Yeah, break a leg. Mm -hmm. Juilliard's an amazing school. Yeah, you must be really talented. I am. I have something I want to give you. What's this? Open it. <laughs> now we will always share a heart. I love it. You know, you can go and play and get into Juilliard as Katie Sharp. No, you have to sign up for an audition. You are signed up. And maybe if Cassandra doesn't go? Katie Sharp could always take her place. What about Glam Slam? Oh, don't worry about Glam Slam. You need to take this opportunity. You go, girl. <laughs> no. I want to do the interview. I want to do this for you. Well, good luck. You too. Sharp, right this way.
give me the confidence to speak in front of the judges. Dear God, miraculously give me the gift to play this guitar. I believe you can do the impossible. Please help me do this for her. Help me do this for her, please. Miss Sharp? Yes? If you choose me for your Glam Slam representative, I promise to deliver. Dear baby bird, dear sparrow, you look a lot like me when I lost my wings. Dear baby I know that I am infamous for making fun of people. Don't be discouraged. Maybe freedom doesn't come in touching us. But I don't want to do that anymore. You can fly in the ocean. You can soar in your soul. Everyone loves to watch a train wreck and I have definitely taken advantage of that. My videos have made you laugh, but they have also hurt a lot of people. From now on, I want my videos to leave the world a better place. I want to lead with love. Young lady. I'm I'm uh proud of you. You are? We watched your videos for the first time. We had no idea what we've been pushing you into. The last one? <laughs> the last one you made was absolutely Beautiful. It was. Good job. Yeah, and the analytics were fantastic. <laughs> Great for business. It sure is. <laughs> Can we do a family hug? Yes. Why not? <laughs> family hug. Ready? Yes. Hi, I'm 
Katie Sharp, and my first official interview for Glam Slam is featuring the very talented Cassandra Evans, who was recently just accepted into Juilliard, which is a very prestigious music school, if you didn't already know. Thanks, Katie, and congratulations on being voted in as the new face of Glam Slam. <laughs> so, my very first question is, what is it like to walk a day in someone else's shoes? <laughs> Well, we all know that old saying, do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And walking in someone else's shoes really puts things into perspective. Until then, I didn't realize how selfish I was. When your heart changes, it changes your perspective. Well, how can my viewers do that? How do you start that discovery? Well, imagine what life is like for someone else. Put yourself in their shoes. Pick a person who you think needs some love and create your own video. Show why that person is so special. Record yourself in the first person as if you were them. Like this. Hi, I'm Cassandra Evans. <laughs> I am patient, kind, and I am a very talented musician. I also have an extremely loving family. And I'm Katie Sharp. I'm gutsy, loyal, and a killer dresser. Then ask someone else to do the same. Let's start a love revolution. Bye. Bye. <laughs>